some pizza dough in the Thermomix this afternoon. The kids have got a couple of friends coming to tea, so that would be nice to have a nice, fresh, homemade pizza. And I think it's going to be super quick and super easy. So the first thing I'm going to do is put 220 grams of room temperature water into the Thermomix. When you're adding water, you just need to go a little bit slowly because it can take a couple seconds extra to catch up. So there's 200 grams, 220 grams, perfect. So this recipe is on the basic chip, um, which is what you get with the machine when you buy the machine. And there's a whole cookery book which is associated with that. So you've got the cookery book and all the recipes that come in here. And there's absolutely tons of stuff. And that all comes on a computer chip, which goes on the side of the Thermomix and has all the recipes programmed in. So it's super easy, you can literally just decide which recipe you're going to do and click next, next, next. It literally tells you each ingredient to add. So next after the water is one teaspoon of sugar. Sorry, that's just the jacket potatoes I'm making for lunch. Right, let's put in the teaspoon of sugar. Next, we want 20 grams of fresh yeast. So you can actually buy this at the supermarket in, in smaller quantities. You just need to go to the bakery uh, section and um, actually just speak to one of the bakers there and say, can I have some fresh yeast? Uh, I bought some the other day from the Sainsbury's. I'm sure they do it in all the supermarkets though. Right, so we want 20 grams. I'm not quite sure what 20 grams is gonna actually look like. So let's just put a little bit in and see what that says. Okay, so that's five grams, but it's very crumbly. Strange, I've never used fresh yeast before. It's a little bit rubbery, actually. There we go, 20 grams, perfect. Wow, that really didn't use very much at all. Fantastic. That means I can use some of this to make some beautiful fresh bread. There's, um, there's a lovely recipe for, for a French baguette on here. I really want to try that out. Oh, hang on, that's saying 15 grams now. It's changed its mind. There we go, 20 grams, okay. You can use powdered yeast as well, but I think that the, the fresh yeast is gonna give a much more authentic flavor. Right, so now put the lid on and insert the measuring cup. Okay, and then we're gonna put it, it's, it's already pre-programmed when you use these, these um, recipes, so it's already set for 20 seconds. I just need to turn the speed indicator to number two. It has an arrow already pointing to the place where it needs to go, so it's so simple, you literally can't get it wrong. Okay, so that's gonna go around for 20 seconds there. Okay. You can also obviously make the toppings um, in the Thermomix as well, which I will do a little bit later. Um, and to make a really lovely pasta sauce to go um, on top of the pizza. Okay. Right, that has just mixed all of that into a lovely liquid. Okay, so next we're gonna add the flour. So we want 400 grams of strong white bread flour or zero zero flour you can use. And they're pretty much the same thing. Concentrating here because I don't want to go over the required amount. Almost there, 350, 360, 370. There we go, 400 grams of strong white bread flour. Okay, next, what do you want us to do next? Add 30 grams of extra virgin olive oil. I just love the way it just it just it resets and then adds the ingredients on top. It's a very, very clever machine. Okay, that's 30 grams of olive oil in. Next, it wants a teaspoon of salt. So give that a few turns of the salt grinder. You can actually grind up salt in the Thermomix and have a little pot for when you're cooking and stuff so that you can actually measure out a proper teaspoon, but I do a lot of my cooking by eye, so I'm saying that's 
going to be about right. Plus, I don't want it too salty. It's going to be for the kids. Right, so next we put this lid back on. Okay, again, it's already preset. So this is going to be for two minutes. And it's set to um, the dough, dough making setting. So we are just going to... So yeah, it has this dough function where it just kneads all the ingredients as if you were doing it by hand, but then you're not getting all mucky and yucky and the machine is doing it for you. And in the meantime, you can clear up, which is super handy. So I'm just going to put a couple of lids on there, get the salt back. Right, I'll clear out the rest of the stuff afterwards. So, um... Once this is all kneaded, I've greased a bowl already, so I'm gonna just put the dough in there and then I'm gonna put a, a, a wet tea towel over the top and then I'm just gonna leave it to rise. And then when the kids' friends get, to get here later, they can roll it out, they can add the, the pizza sauce that I'm gonna make for the top, put their mozzarella on and whatever toppings they like, put them in the oven and they're gonna be very, very delicious and they're gonna be super happy kids. I'm probably also gonna make them some of the sorbet that um, you've seen in some of the other videos for their pudding which goes down an absolute storm so just in case you haven't seen some of the other videos if you want to get your hands on one of these little genius machines all you have to do is send me an email to jennifer bench that's j-e-n-n-i-f-e-r bench b-e-n-c-h numerical one at gmail.com and uh, i can sort out um, the buying information for you i'll just respond they, they literally send them in a couple of days, so uh, and literally in a couple of days you could be sitting at home doing this yourself for your children. Um, the best thing I love about the Thermomix is that you can make everything from scratch, so you know everything that's gone in. None of these hidden extras um, that, that you see in a lot of the ingredients are on packages when you actually start to look at you know, some of the ingredients you think, oh my word, what is all this stuff? Um, this is just the raw basic ingredients going into making nice healthy food for your family um, and uh, particularly for your children. Okay, so that has finished its kneading. Always does this nice little tune when it's finished. It's quite handy though because actually if you've gone away and left it you can hear it from anywhere else in the house. Okay, so the next thing we do we are going to literally take out the dough Oh, that is amazing. It is literally because it's been made to such a perfect consistency and um, and so efficiently, literally, I'll show you in a sec, but virtually the whole dough has come out. All you have to do is form it into a ball, like so, and then just put it in your bowl to let it rise. So look at that. That is pretty amazing. Whole contents of the, uh, the Thermomix has been pretty much emptied there. So I'm gonna show you one more little trick that you can do with the Thermomix. Uh, if you, when you're finished with it, you can just put um, a, a spot of washing up liquid in, fill it with some water. Preferably hot, but it doesn't need to be. Uh, don't fill it right to the top, you just want to fill it about halfway. Okay, and then you can put it back onto the Thermomix machine. <clears throat> and you just go to the main menu. Okay, so we're going to go home. I'm going to put that on for 15, 15 seconds. And I'm going to put it on quite a high speed. Basically, the Thermomix is going to wash itself. Obviously, you need to give it another little rinse at the end and maybe just a white ground um, before you put it on the rack to dry. Um, but that's pretty much it. So when you're making things like this, things that have got right into the blades, uh, it just saves all that sort of scrubbing and messing around. So, 
You can see in there, we've just got some nice bubbles that have formed. I'm just going to literally empty that out and give it a quick clean <coughs> mince round. Thermomix is as good as new. So that is how easy it is to use the Thermomix and that's how easy it is to make pizza dough in the Thermomix. This is going to be delicious. I will make the pizza sauce topping for you in the next, next video. Hopefully you'll get making some of this really soon. Bye!